Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Nidhi. This is my first YouTube video and welcome to my channel Beyond Horizons. Today, I'm here to show you how to draw a single line diagram using Big Island Power Factory and how to place the power system components. Let's go into the video. So first, you have to open the Big Island Power Factory software. And once you open it, you find this page. And this page shows you the example files from the literature, from the standards, as well as you have different uh, networks like a, a low voltage distribution network, medium voltage transmission system, distance protection, you can state estimation, industrial network, hydropower plant, wind farm, offshore wind farm, railway systems, etc. And you can see the system, how it is modeled. So let's close this and now let's start. So now click on to the file and once you click on to the file you have new and here you have project. So once you open this you can name your project. Today I'm basically modeling a 6 bus network so I'm giving the name 6 bus network and now when you and your start time your your start time your end time everything is displayed here but here the calendar system is wrong but basically you have to configure through the network so when you give ok it will be prompted to another window which asks if you can name as you wish here I give it as grid and you can choose your color here you can choose it any color you want so here I'm using black and nominal frequency range 50 Hertz but for this network I'm considering it to be 60 Hertz and give OK so this is your page where when the silent file you have created your own file and here you can see all the uh, this is the workspace where you have to draw your single line diagram and and here you can see the list of components the power system components which are here so that you can pick and place in the main workspace and here this is the navigation bar where i will show and the, the next step I will show you. So now, in the, the first step is that now we are going to try to simulate, try to model uh, just the system. And in the next video, I will be explaining how to do the load flow analysis of this system. So now we are going to model this system. This system consists of six buses, two generators, and four loads. And now we can model this. So the here you can select the bus bar. So here it is the bus bar. Here is the bus bar which is short. And this is the bus bar which is rectangular, circular, polygonal. And a lot of versions in that. And here you have the circuit breaker, disconnector, etc. Here you have the grounding switch, your surge arresters, and here you have the general templates where you can build, bring in solar, wind, all these stuff, the battery, etc. This is the external grid. This is the synchronous machine, asynchronous machines, and then this is static generator, wind generator, battery storage. Fuel cell, PV system, here are the voltage load, transformers, transmi this is the transmission line where you can give the model to be a cable or as a transmission line. Series reactors, two winding transformers, three auto transformers, three winding transformers, inverters, rectifiers, three winding transformers here. 
DC machine, current sources, DC wires, etc. There are so many components which are picked here. Now, our first step is to model uh, six buses. So, click onto this bus and you can bring it to the workspace. You can just click here. So, it will be placed here. And then, for the second bus, for the third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth one. Right? And then, when you want to, uh, because when you select the next component, it, the line on the bus automatically goes or press escape so that it will not stay on to this. And now, so these are the buses. Now you can name as per this diagram. So here is the first bus. So right diagonal to it is the second. And then you have third, fourth, fifth and sixth. So likewise, we can name this because we will have a confusion. So we can name this to be bus 1, sorry, bus 1, this one as we saw in the diagram, this one to be bus 2, this one to be bus 3, bus 4, bus 5 and bus 6 right all right so now we have placed all the buses now we need a generator to be placed right so we are placing a generator in bus 1 and bus 2 so here we choose to be a synchronous generator and now I have told you about the navigation page now you can see that here you can see the navigation page it will show you in short what are the components and how you are using it but most of the time we can close it which is because we, we want to have a big screen and we want to see what and all we are placing so now in order to choose a synchronous generator this is the synchronous generator, synchronous machine. So click that and we are placing it in bus 1. So click here and bring it down so that it is connected. And click here and connect it. So it is connected and when you want this generator uh, icon next to go next to the arrow, so you just give an escape so that it is automatically there. So now we have placed the two generators and now the third one, is, the third step is to place all the loads in bus 5, bus 6, bus 3 and bus 4. So here we go on to the load. So we are in bus 1, bus 6. Bus 4 and bus 3. Right? We have picked and placed it. And now just give an escape so that it vanishes. Now we need to draw the major connections between lines. So bus 1 is connected to bus 6. Bus 6 is connected to bus 5. Bus 5 is connected to bus 2. And bus 2 is connected to 3. And bus 3 is connected to 4. Right? And bus 4 is connected to 1. So let's make these major connections. 
So here, in order to draw that, this is known as the transmission line. So take that and here, and you bring it here. So bus 1 is connected to 6, bus 6 we are connecting it to bus 5 and bus 5 we are connecting it to bus 2 and bus 2 we are connecting it to bus 3 and bus 3 we are connecting it to bus 4 and bus 4 we are connecting it to bus 1 right and given escape if you want all these lines to be straight you can just click onto that and bring it there to be straight okay just here as well so now you can at least like it is in the proper then so now it looks neat you don't have to like mm, see it to be like distorted or anything like that and then now there is another connection which is from bus 4 to bus 6 so to make that connection you have to click onto the line and here, bus 4, I'm putting it here, put it here, bring it here, and connect it. So, so this is how, this is how we are connecting all the power system components as per the diagram or as per the standard or as per the layout which is given to you so it can be any component any type of buses it can be any type of power system you can create and you can draw just like this this is a six bus network just like this you have created a six bus network and you have named it bus one bus two bus three bus four bus five and bus six and here you have given Two synchronous generators, one at bus one and the one at bus two, and then you have connected all the loads at bus two, bus three. I'm sorry, bus three, bus four, bus five, and bus six, and then you have made all the connections of transmission lines from bus one to six, from six to five, from five to two, from two to three, and from. 3 to 4 and from 4 to 1 and then we are connecting another transmission line from bus 4 to bus 6. So this is a short description about modeling power system companies with the help of a single line diagram and that's it for today and please like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel and every updates will be over the next week. Every week I will be putting a new video which, which is all about education and the next video will be about how to run the low flow analysis and how to enter the values like the megawatt, the power rating as well as the line parameters, the bus parameter, the generator parameter, the parameters. So the next video will be on how to do flow flow analysis using the Excel Thank you very much. See ya.